just for kind of cooking program. Well, today we're gonna make you a nice, lovely chicken, Maraca chicken. Guys, this is a beautiful recipe. You're gonna go with some rice and a little bit of veg at the side, and hopefully, you will enjoy the recipe. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. As we always said to you, we have a lot of recipe for you guys. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful time. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your views. Thank you for everything we've been doing for Chef Ricardo. As I said before, thank you guys one more time again. We're gonna make it this evening. The recipe for this evening is Morocco chicken from Chef Ricardo today. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you very much. Bye bye. As you can see right here, I have some spring onion and uh, some white onion. Right over here, I have some chicken, very clean up, wash off into some lemon and white vinegar. Right over here, I have the cinnamon, what you're gonna make, and some chopped tomato. As you can see, I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna marinate it now and make you guys see how to make your maraca chicken today from Chef Ricardo. Well, maraca chicken is good to use the chicken breast part, which is boneless, but this one is fine. I got some chicken which have the bone, it eat the bone everywhere, cut up. So that's fine, and it cut up very small. So, guys, I'm gonna make you a nice, lovely maraca chicken. Hopefully, you will enjoy the recipe today from Chef Ricardo. Thank you very much, guys. Nice one. Right here, as you can see, I have a medium-sized pot. If you look inside of my pot, you see some spots, scripts, everything, but I wanna say this is a good pot to use, guys, to make my Morocco chicken. First of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some oil inside of my pot. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you a paste. So right here, I have roughly a large spoon of vegetable oil inside of the pot. As you can see what's going on at the moment, that's the first thing I did. Um, second thing, I'm going to put a little bit of spring onion because my pot is hot. So if I put in the oil, it's going to be getting really ready. Some white onion. As you can see, just put in the white onion. And I'm just sauteing off this for the time being. That looks so lovely and nice, guys. Hopefully, you will love this recipe, Morocco chicken. Then, next, I'm gonna use a little teaspoon right here. As I can see, I'm using a little teaspoon, teaspoon of fresh ginger. That's the first thing. Give it a little stir, getting the flavor of the ginger inside of the pot. Wow, we can smell that. So, next. Sorry guys, that's the fresh garlic. This is the fresh ginger. Right here, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of ginger inside of it, getting the flavor also. So that's the garlic, that's the ginger. The next, we're gonna put some seasoning inside of the pot. One spoon of all for seasoning. One spoon of Everyday season teaspoon, one spoon of meat season, and one spoon of chicken seasoning right here, and a teaspoon of grounded fermented seed, some paprika, one teaspoon. Lovely. And also put a little bit more of the chicken season. Nice one. Use a spoon. Give it a little spin. Just like this. Looking so lovely inside of the pot already, as I can see what I'm doing at the moment, guys. Next, you need to get some curry. Powder. I'm gonna put a last spoon of curry powder inside of it. So lovely and nice. Smell the scent of this. Ah, oh, the scent. The scent smells so lovely, guys. Then next, what we're gonna do? You need to get some cinnamon. That's the key. Why people call it Morocco chicken? Is the cinnamon makes the difference. So. I'm gonna put a pinch of cinnamon inside of it because cinnamon is very strong. That's the cinnamon. 
give it a stir. Then now I'm gonna put my chicken inside of it because this is a roux. I'm gonna put my chicken in it just like this. You can cook off the chicken in the oven if you do like it at home. And give the chicken a nice little start. Like this. It's not curry chicken, but that looks similar to curry chicken, but it's not like curry chicken. But you're gonna guys gonna see what I'm doing. Cause I want you to see how to make. The Maraca chicken is totally different because I got cinnamon inside of it, I got all of those herbs seasoning, I got the garlic, the ginger, the fresh thyme, everything inside of it, guys, as you can think of. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my little thyme and I'm gonna cover it now, and on a medium size, it's gonna spring up a little bit of water, but that's fine. Maraca chicken, this is the best way to make it. Nice one. So, let's see what's going on inside of the pot. Lovely. So as you can see, all the chicken look inside of the pot, the maraca chicken, guys. You're gonna love this one, I'm telling you. Look at that, that is just beautiful and nice. Just look at it. Really, really nice, guys. So as you can see, I'm just getting the chicken a little bit cooked off inside of it. Oh man, this is nice. This is the scent of the chicken. Mm. Oh. And I can smell the ginger and the cinnamon. Wow, smells so beautiful. Really, really, really nice, guys. Whoa. Uh -oh. This smells really nice. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at that. Well, what I'm going to do now, let's get it seasoned up. I'm going to add one can of chopped tomato inside of it. That's a can of chopped tomato, one can. You can get chopped tomato at any local shop, supermarket. Oh. You get a little start. Now what I'm gonna do, let's all on the first guys. I'm gonna add some more stuff to this. You're gonna love this one. Then what I'm gonna simply do, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put some carrot, but cut the carrot a little bit small. That's the carrot. I'm gonna add carrot and cut the carrot small. That's the Irish potato. Sorry guys, that's the potato. This is the potato we are adding to it. Cut the potato a little bit small. Cut the carrot very small. So we're gonna put some stick carrot inside of it like this. This is the stick carrot. Just gonna put a few in it. Give it a little start. Wow. So, Maraca chicken is one of the best chicken I ever had. Put a little bit more onion and spring onion also. Cook the inside of it. Nice one. As you can see, give it a little stir. I'm gonna wash up my container with my chopped tomato. Add the water to it. Just a little bit of water, not too much. Then, add a little bit of ketchup to it also. Not too much. And also, a little bit of sugar. Not too much sugar though. Just a little pinch of sugar. 
And you know what I'm gonna do because choose maraca chicken and I have some sweet chili in my cupboard. I just gonna put a little bit of sweet chili sauce inside of it. Not too much though. I don't wanna get it too sweet. Little bit of coarse pepper. And also a little bit of little pinch of hot pepper sauce. You can put a Jamaican pepper if you do like inside of it and give it a nice start. Just like this. But you can see the difference of the Morocco chicken. Oh, it's looking really totally different. And hot a little bit more water. Not too much though. Give it a little stir. So let's give it a taste to see. Man. Oh, this is really nice, guys. I'm telling you, this Morocco chicken, please try it at home, is one of the best chicken. It's gonna go with some rice. Well, I'm gonna put some veg at the side. I got the veg link, I'm gonna put it below. That's so the guys can click on that link. Morocco chicken from Chef Ricardo. Well, some people do add butternut squash inside of it and some other stuff, but you don't need. This is just a shot away for you guys. Please enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave your comments. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave that to cook on a medium-sized eat for another 10 more minutes. Enjoy the recipe. Enjoy this wonderful recipe from Chef Ricardo, Morocco chicken. Well, let's see what's going on with it. Lovely Morocco chicken. Oh, man. This is lovely. Look at the sauce. Mmm. So this is ready. This is finished, done and dusted. So in between that 10 minutes, I keep stirring it and look at it. So roughly I give it 20 minutes just to cook down to come to this right here. So this is so lovely and nice. Enjoy the recipe, guys. And thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. And then this is the Morocco chicken. And hopefully you like it. If you like it, please leave a comment. If you want me to make any special chicken for you, please write in the comments box. And I will definitely make it for you. Thank you very much, bye-bye. Lovely and nice. So I just shiro the maraca chicken with some rice and some veg. Guys, the maraca chicken can go with couscous. It's really nice with couscous, but I needed some rice today. Um, you can put butternut squash in the maraca chicken. You can use it with yogurt. You can use it with cheese. You can use it so many different things. But as you can see, all the dish looking so lovely and nice. Hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and subscribe my YouTube channel. Leave your comments if it's a nice recipe for you guys so it's just a little bit different from curry chicken just a little bit you can add a lot more stuff inside of it but just to cut it a little bit shorter i did it this way but i'm telling you the maraca chicken tastes really different really nice as i said before i put cinnamon inside of it and all this, those herbs and seasoning you have to you know it's just really nice so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much guys for watching Chef Ricardo Maraca Chicken. Leave your comments, it's very important. Thank you for your like, thank you for your everything what you're doing for me. And I wanna say, hopefully, many blessings upon you guys. Thank you very much, as I said, from Chef Ricardo.